Hello, welcome to this week's visit video on eyes. So we're going to be talking everything eye. I'll try anyway. Okay, here we go. So these are very common questions. Um, can you fix the puffiness under my eye? I get dark circles. Is that fixable? I have my eyelids are drooping. What do we do? Um, I'm starting to notice deep lines there. So when I move my face, they're worse, but at rest, they're staying around. I'd love to fix that. So hopefully these um, educational chat right now is going to help answer some of those questions for you. And I'm going to give you um, not only the why, but also I'm going to give you what works in clinic that I've seen over the last 25 plus years, but it's only getting better. So I'm a testimony because I actually looked up to see if I've done a video recently on eyes. And I found an old one, which must be done in COVID times and lockdowns or something, because I was talking about things like that. But, oh, you could see the difference in my skin. So I was like, oh, I've gotten a lot better. That's very good. Um, so happy about that. But let's talk about the eye anatomy to start with. So um, firstly, the tissue around that eye is different to the rest of our face. So we know the skin on our face is very affected because it has the most external abuse. Often we have clothes covering different parts of our body in the year, but our face doesn't. Our face is thinner than our body and it does have um, a really different anatomy when it comes to the eye sockets. So for example, there's about 500 oil glands, sebaceous glands is just a fancy name for oil glands, um, in my cheek. There is zero in my eye circle. So when I'm talking about eye circle, we're talking sort of from here, think of a big circle right up into the brow. So I really don't have oil glands. So my absorption there is going to be minimal. Now, the structure, it also is the thinnest skin on your whole entire body is that eye area. Crazy. So if it's the weakest link in the chain, and this area has so much exposure to the environment, it's going to break down. Now, genetically, we are different. So this is why um, if you go on my Instagram and look at, there's a diagram I have of the fat pads, how they sit in the skin. I often show this in clinic. So there is a big fat pad that sits under here and it drops as we age. So often people can start to see a lot more hollowing in the eye, um, and just basically aging in general. Um, you can stimulate that and lift it um, that I've seen a lot through some of the new filler work with Environ. Um, the medical DF filler treatment combined with home care um, can help to create that like sponge back in. I've definitely noticed that in my own eye socket. So if it's so thin and it's hard to get products in, well, what do we do? Well, in the Environ, they do make a special eye gel. They have two. There's only one I recommend because the other one is just not strong enough. Um, so this is called Youth Eye Gel. It is the best one that I have come across for results. So what's in this, guys? So we've got our vitamins A, C, and E, which is what our skin needs to regenerate and heal and repair. It's what we're made with and what, what is lost from the environment predominantly radiational and direct lights and pollution. It's also got peptides. So peptides kind of work as a carrier tool to help the vitamin A absorb. Gosh, the eye area will need that. It also has antioxidants that will assist in lymphatic draining. I have a professor who, um, he came in with their quite big bags under his eyes. It's a gen genetic disposition, but I would say also some lifestyle things could be addressed to assist his lymphatic system. However, he said, is there anything we could do for my eyes? And I said, look, um, this will help. It will assist. And he did, he did start and I hadn't seen him for a little while. And he came back in and he said, wow, that thing is magic. I said, well, it's not. It just, it's, <laughs> his eyes had really reduced the puffiness because of those special antioxidants that actually uh, are draining the lymphatics. So with the anatomy of the eye, so we'll go back and say, okay, there's thinner skin on the body. There's no oil glands in there. So my absorption is going to need a very small molecule to, to penetrate. 
It's not what you apply to your skin, it's what your skin absorbs because the living tissue is in the deeper layer, so called the dermis. So if it's not if there's no vitamin getting down there and just constantly lubricating the top with antioxidants, you're not going to see that structural change that we all want. So that's why it's all about, is it absorbing? So that's why, um, yes, you can use your Environ moisturizers, vitamins and peptide moisturizers all the way over the eye if you wish, but not everyone can handle that. And the absorption rate of that will be very minimal. So I always recommend clean the skin, um, in the daytime, obviously you'll just, most clients roll at night. So if you have a roller, that's when you would get your little roller out and you would roll all in to the eye and all up on the lid. And remember to stretch wonderfully. So, um, we're stretching that area to make sure we're getting good, um, microscopic channels to get the product to penetrate. Usually I would use my toner all over the eye. Then I would use one pump of my eye gel and I will be applying that all here. Now, this is where people fail. They just stop. They don't keep putting it up here. It's so important. These eyelids get droopy. So um, structurally, as we age, our bones shrink. And depending if you look at your parents and one has really droopy eyelids, um, I do a lot of pre and post surgery for eye lift surgery. And, and, and this is where they have to... Literally, the individual's eye is so droopy, it's feeling very heavy, so it obscures vision. It makes the eye feel really tired at the end of the day. So um, we want to keep the skin nice and tight and firm onto the skin. So that's really important. If um, a client has deep lines or they're noticing, when I relax, I can see this muscle is very strong. But it's nowhere near as strong as it used to be. And these muscles are strong. But around my eyes, no, it's fine at the moment. But if you're noticing at rest, these muscles are holding, we might need to look at doing some muscle release. So this is uh, focused round serum. So they're peptides that reduce the nerve talking to the muscle. Fancy word, but they're neuromuscular blockers. And we need to make sure we've got a roller to help with that because you need to get it deeper into the nerve sheath. So you need to get as deep into the skin as possible. So in the daytime, I'd be applying my toner, my eyes, my frown if I've got the deeper lines. And then I'd be pulling my vitamin A moisturizers over if my skin can handle it. Not everyone's skin can. And it doesn't mean that it will never be able to. But it just means that like fitness, we don't come out of the gate doing it all at once. We have to uh, note and see what the skin can handle. And then with sunscreen, with the environment sunscreens, some people find a little bit sensitive in the eye. So you can go really close to the eye socket and then it will travel in. Um, for me, I seem to be fine. I can put them all over my face. But just note that if you, if you get any sensitivity, just pull it out here and it will kind of go closer simply by itself cool way eh? at night time we kind of do the same thing um if you're going to roll i roll more at night than in the morning so that's when i would really put more holes in there um and then after i've done all my application of my products before sleep i'm going to put my revival mask this works brilliantly so it has three assets that help to stimulate collagen and elastin, but you really do feel a tightening effect. Um, it also is going to assist in making that lovely pH of the skin super acidic again. Our skin should be sitting at a 4 to 5 pH, and that will really help reduce the wrinkling as well of the skin. Does eye, eye gel matter? I've just... It's worth its weight in gold. in my Because, like, I've tried all these strategies by using... The vitamin moisturizers but that tinier molecule structure i find really helpful for clients and when you have pooling blood so let's say you wake up with really dark circles and this might be genetic you might look at some family members that have the same problem so structurally the vascular system is sitting a little higher and some people have a um, little bit more caved uh, in this little area here uh, and there's only one blood vessel that carts the blood so when you're sleeping at night and your lymphatics isn't moving from 
walking and exercising and so forth, uh, that blood sort of spills out into around the capillary. It, it spills into the Australian tissue and you get that like dark pigment. So I've seen results in thickening the skin. So that's sort of more of a treatment protocol with homework. But the home care is essential because if you are prepping the skin, you're getting the barrier beautiful, you're getting it nourished. And that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get the nutrition back into the skin so then the factory of the eye is going to stay hydrated and supple and have a defense. But if you're already seeing physical change to the structure, that's where you might need to bring in some of these guys. So if we're seeing lines, we might need frown serum. If we're seeing um, loose skin, we might need to be starting to experiment with revival mask and then talk about in clinic what treatment protocol would be best for you to enhance that. Remember, Environ is amazing skincare, but if you're not, if it's not absorbing, you're losing like all the amazing uh, results of it. So that's where treatment, I think Dr. Des says something really cute. He says, um, you know, I think he gets to have a facial a week uh, and I have clients that get that, but it's not all of us. Um, so he says that when you have um, the treatment, it, it actually just, deeply enhances the penetration of your home care so it turns your skincare into excellent skincare um, because it's literally allowing their ability to get into that living tissue and because the eye is so thin and it doesn't have many well it's got no oil glands and generally it's getting a lot of external abuse you're going to see that area is going to need a more work and i will tell you the earlier you start doing something about it the less investment and time you have to put into it it's it's very true um i really love i uh, doing before and afters each year because i can i look at the eye and you can see the clients who are using eye cream and who are not it's it's just how it is also those who are consistent so it doesn't mean they have to have treatments every week it could be just once a month but the consistency over 12 months that's where they that's where they get the results and they're using the home care they're getting that um, coaching to like adjust little things it's called adaption right you can't keep doing the exact same thing so sometimes with eye gel even though there's never going to be your skin is made of vitamin a c and e it's, it's it has peptides and acids you're never going to find a better ingredient profile but you can improve the delivery and what happens is our skin when you're using really good skincare the barrier becomes more efficient and the shield goes up which is great we need that but then your product penetration goes down so that that's my my job <laughs> always is it's like changing things i think sometimes clients are <laughs> over me totally changing their programs um because but i do it not not to keep you guessing and to keep you um changing your behavior but it's just because the skin it needs to be it adapts if you don't change it it will just get a little too comfortable and then you're losing that optimal results and i i want results and i want optimal and i want you to spend your time and money really wisely um so eyes there is treatments that we can talk about in clinic um but on here it's more what you would do at home and why and if you have individual questions please pop them below but i think that's that's a general overview um, of why I love particularly that eye cream and and why you need to make sure that you're utilizing some of the other ingredients if you have different concerns. Have a wonderful day and thanks for listening. Talk soon. Bye.